see that. Good morning YouTube, this is Pete from Checking Out. Today we're going to look at the Blow BLAUX wearable air conditioner that I ordered off Facebook. Um, as you see, it come from Think Tech Sales out of Wayne, New Jersey uh, to Panama City, where we're at. We open it up. Great picture. You know, um, for the price, I figured the box would be a little nicer. I guess I'm expecting like Apple type box for the price. Um, but it's um, very inexpensive looking, um, as you can see here. I got it this morning. Um, now I've noticed that when you open it up, it says wearable fan now instead of wearable air conditioner. And all the advertising that I saw online, I don't see as much on the back, uh, like um, uh, the technology side of it's supposed to be cool. It looks pretty much like a portable fan around your neck, uh, which is not what we were hoping for. So this is what it is. I'm going to open it up in a second and get you guys a first look at it. Trusty knife here. Um, we have a lot of these hanging around since we we're doing our house since the hurricane. Uh, still not done. That's what we're doing in a little cove here. Uh, the rest of the house is, <laughs> looks like a construction site. So um, I'm going to open this thing up here and see what we got without cutting myself. My wife was pretty excited about this, about it being a wearable air conditioner, but I don't think it's going to be. I was taking a chance and I don't think it's going to work. I hope I'm wrong. I um, hope, you know, they just put the fan on there for advertising or some type of copyright or something. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like that's just a cover. Looks like a normal box. Get that out of the way here. Get that out back, maybe. All right, so it's not going to be able to see it. So, we're going to open this up, and it does look like the advertised piece. Um, it's just styrofoam here in the center. So, you come with a charger, a piece here, and an owner's manual, as instruction manual, I guess. Uh, and we can go through all of this for all you people. I couldn't find anything on YouTube about it, so I just took a chance uh, on this. Let me take this out of the box here, get the charger. Box, get out of the way. And I was reading that this is supposed to move. As you can see, it moves a little bit. They kind of change the neck there. Uh, I guess these are the vents here that the air, quote unquote, air conditioning comes out. There's your side button and charge port. And let's see, you need good writing in there. Nothing really good. But these are supposed to come off, you know, for cleaning, supposedly. There's a um, filters in there, as you see there, good branding at least, looks like, again, more movable, adjustable knobs for your quote-unquote little fans, I believe they're the size of like small computer fans, they put in this wearable device, but what we're going to do next is charge it up and see if it changes the temperature um, of where we're at and if you feel it coming out I do have a temperature gauge that we're going to put on it uh, just to make it accurate and then we're going to give it to the wife and <laughs> see what she thinks so um, I'll have it back to you shortly thanks there's a charge port okay it looks like a my S8 charger USB at the end 
you see here, this is the instruction manual, very big and huge. As you see, charging your device. Probably people who want to look at that, pause the frame. How to wear, adjustable events, and the product specs, which I know I was looking for and really couldn't find. This is the next step we're about to go do. Okay, here we go. It is charged. We're going to turn it to on, see what it sounds like. This is low. As you can see, the air is coming on. Both one can't see. Air is coming in on both sides. Here is adjustable. Here is adjustable. And then these kind of just end caps are just on and off. And it does have to see the very, very small motor going. Now, um, it does have low, medium, it does have a high, okay, and it is putting out a little bit of air, mostly on, of course, on the fan side. Um, I don't, yeah, I guess there's a fan on both sides, it looks like. I'll take that back, okay. But we walked around the house with this, and then we went outside with it on high, and this is not an air conditioner. Repeat, this is not an air conditioner, this is just a fan. Um, that you can wear around your neck. I personally think it's a little bit of false advertising, um, but let you be the judge of that. From when I ordered it, it actually said it was air conditioner and that there was special technology in it and it was gonna keep you cool. So what we're gonna do is run a test this against a dollar store plug-in fan and see what the temperature difference is. So I got a Ryobi, just a little temperature gun here. I'm going to nail it right here in the center, right where the fence coming out. All right. Believe it or not, it says, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's getting lower. Pull it back just a little bit so you can see it. Do it again. But you can't even see that or not. Can't really tell. You know, nothing spectacular. Okay, 93 is what I'm getting. That's on high. I'm going to shut that off. Now I have a dollar store <laughs> fan that we bought just to see if there's a, a big difference. And I got it plugged into, of course, not portable, but I do have it plugged into an outlet. And we're going to see what that's going to do. Of course, not as fast, but it is a bigger fan. Wow, it's cooler. Can you believe that? Dollar store fan. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to hit it again. 84 degrees. 83 even. 82. It's going down. So let's try this one again just to be fair about it. Again, both on and high. Battery operated, of course. Okay. It did get down to 84, by the other side. 84. So, again, it's a little warmer than the dollar store one, and it will eventually cool down, it looks like. It's getting cooler. We'll leave it on for a minute and see if it even gets even cooler than that. But this is, we don't believe this is an air conditioner at all. This it's just as cool as air as the dollar store fan. So, yeah, I don't know if you want to call it a ripoff. Because it is portable, I guess. You can hang it around your neck. But what we noticed is there's no ventilation on the back side of the neck. So, you're not getting on the back side. You're just getting it on the front side of your neck. Uh, which, if you're sweating, might help. Um, but it's definitely not, let me phrase this, not an air conditioner. 
um, like it was advertised to me. Um, we were hoping to get cooler temperatures out of this uh, here in Florida. Um, but again, I'm gonna hit it a couple more times. This is same as this dollar store fan. So I don't know if you wanna call it conclusion or not, but personally for $69 or $79 or even $59 or even $49, that's really your call. It's just really a portable fan. It's not air conditioning. Um, I'm probably assuming they would probably change that here pretty quickly, uh, I would assume. But again, one last time, things been on a little bit now. We're not getting anything near air conditioner temperatures coming out of this thing. You're getting fan temperatures and not as good as even a dollar store it's a little bigger though but uh it is this thing will blow this thing away of course there's your differences okay i hope this helps some people before they go and buy this thing at least know what it really is uh before they go spend the hard and money on it um thank you youtube and give it a like and a thumbs up thanks bye